What's up, what's up, what's up? You already know, this is Peach. And today, we going in the meat store because I need some chicken. I was trying to get chicken wings out of Walmart yesterday. So I wanted to find me some chicken wings and they didn't have none. I haven't been seeing chicken wings in the real store lately. And normally I don't even buy them out the real store. I just was like, I'm gonna grab them because I'm in here and I didn't feel like going to the meat store because I can't fit no meat in my freezer. But now I'm rambling. Anyways, I'm at Eliana's meat store here in Tampa, Florida. This is my favorite meat store. They keep going up on their prices. I need to start shouting them out because they keep going up on Eliana's prices. meat market. I thought like it was normal that everybody shops at a meat store, but I guess not. Thank you. It's not even crowded in here today, y'all. Uh. Oh, they got their meat plants back. They was covered last time we came in here. You see, they sell the little spinach rice. So a lot of y'all were asking me, where do you get Zazon? Where do you get Complete? If you can't find it in your local Walmart or Sam's Club, check out your local Hispanic um, meat store. And if you're not already shopping at a meat store, start shopping at a meat store. You'll save some money. So I would definitely advise all types of things in the meat store, y'all. Fresh garlic. These are cut up collard greens. Last time I came in here, they had the um, fresh bundles of collard greens. That's cabbage. Cut up cabbage. I got my own cabbage that I still haven't used that I'm going to use today. Oh, look at the peanuts. Well, I should make boiled peanuts for y'all. Do y'all eat okra? My kids don't like okra. I love some okra. Some okra with some Uncle John sausages and some tomatoes. Baby. It's a good time, but that's a little Hispanic produce. I don't get on here and be like, why did you have to call it Hispanic produce? It's, listen, this is a Hispanic owned store. It's Spanish produce, like I said. But listen, look at these wings. Now y'all, you used to come in here and get five pounds of chicken wings for eleven ninety nine. dollars Now they $17.99. Lord Jesus, chicken wings, the price of steak. I'm about to go vegan. Um, and the whole wings, I don't like them. It's my turn. I'm getting five pounds of chicken wings, yeah. Five pounds of chicken wings. Oh, Lord, they have. That's ridiculous. But y'all know Walmart and Winn Dixie and Target ain't had no chicken wings. None at all. Five pounds of chicken wings, $17.99. That is the price of steak. Now, you know. Do they even got chicken wings on the meat plant? Oh, the three pounds. Oh, I might do that instead, but I don't like ground beef. And I don't like chicken. Okay, that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do instead, thank you. I'm gonna do the Eliana's plan number 33. So we're gonna get the three pounds of ground beef, but we're gonna get something different for that. Um, three pounds of in court pork chops, three pounds of chicken legs, three pounds of chicken wings, and three pounds of sweet steak. Thank you. Okay, is that possible? Is it possible to get more chicken wings instead of getting the um, ground beef? Yeah, so that's what we're gonna do. And that plan is only $40, y'all, because baby, chicken wings is going oh. uh, I'm gonna have to stick to the little $5.48 shrimp at Walmart. We about to just eat shrimp. That's all we're gonna be eating in my house, shrimp. That's it, because beef going up, chicken going up, everybody got their pandemic, food stamps got these people so high. <sighs> And what my chicken wings look like. So it still kind of end up being five pounds with me subbing out the ground beef. Y'all know I only like getting my ground beef from Walmart. I don't know. I just like the rolls, how it's rolled up. But ground beef going up too. And Walmart ground beef, normally $7 and some change. Now it's $12 and some change. Y'all it's, it's, okay, no food is high. Steak, guys. We're getting three pounds with our meat plan. It's normally for five pounds, $21.99. Food is so freaking Hi, this is what I like. I like me some oxtails, but oxtails is so expensive. $29.99 oxtails. Even with food stamps, that is hot. You get a lot of cute steaks, guys. $40 meat plan. Not bad, not bad at all. Now on to the pork chop. On to the pork chop. Pork chops are cheap anyways, y'all. If y'all ever need some food, in cuts, 9 dollars 
And then Cinecut's $11.99. Pork chops. Is God, a lot of y'all don't eat pork. Y'all on y'all health stuff. Y'all only eat turkey and turkey bacon. I don't eat that. Thank you. Here's my food. We got our three pounds of cube steak. Three pounds of pork chops, which I don't care that it's this many. It's enough for one meal, um, like for dinner. And we have a lot of pork chops in my freezer still. And then we have the chicken wings, which is about five pounds because I subbed out the other ones and then some drumsticks. Drumsticks are extremely cheap. I'm gonna do a challenge. People ask me to do a eating on $20 for one week challenge, which I'll do, but drumsticks, where are they? So I can show y'all, they so cheap. Drumsticks. For five pounds of drumsticks, it's five ninety nine. And there's so many things you could do with um, barbecue drumsticks. You can make jerk jump drumsticks, fried drumsticks, cream of chicken with your drumsticks. There's just so much you could do with five pounds for six dollars. Yes, that's it. Mommy plan come with a soda. I'ma give me a Pepsi. You gonna get a Pepsi with all? That was so nice. Thank you. I normally don't get meat plan. I normally just buy my meat separate so i learned something new today meat seasonings and y'all can't find them hit up your local hispanic meat store all of the seasonings i use they have it you see the that's on i like Lari's um season salt over how you say that but how you say it Bada? how i say it that's that seasoning. How you say the name of that brand? Badia. Badia. And then how you say Zazon? Is it Zazon? Yeah, it's a season. Everything. You see? Ground pepper. Tropical season for everything you want. That's what I use Zazon, but it normally don't say tropical on it. Let me try that one. I never, I never use that kind. So we're gonna try this one. It's $6.99 for this big one. I love this on my fried chicken, y'all. Um, so my total end up being $46.98. Y'all know we're gonna swipe this Florida EBT. Oh, guys, I got my stuff, but I wanna show y'all this seasoning before I go. She told me to come look over here in the corner, excuse me, at all the seasonings. All of the seasonings that they carry. I've never tried this does on tropical. This one. I might check that one out too. This is all of the different seasonings they carry. So like I said, if y'all trying to cook like me and season y'all food like me, hit up your local Hispanic. And I say Hispanic because that's how all our meat stores are mostly owned by Hispanics. Um, your local Hispanic meat market, if y'all have a black owned one, go for it. But it seems like the Spanish ones has more seasonings and better deals. This is that yellow food color. And my mama done be using that for chicken and yellow rice. I hate when they make it yellow like that. But yeah, just showing y'all, give me a little. I do need to run a Dollar Tree. And if I was smart, I would've went to Dollar Tree first. But it's Sunday and the meat store closed at three on Sunday. So we are gonna try to run a Dollar Tree and only get what I need. Y'all pray for me. All right, y'all. So I am sitting in my car about to go in Dollar Tree. I just went to the meat store and got my little meat plan. Now, what am I coming to the Dollar Tree for? Okay, I said I'm gonna do a clean with me video. I'm gonna do like a deep clean with me video, right? So I need some more glass cleaning because gorgeous put banana pudding on my glass mirror where my pantry at and then also i need those little containers with lid on it to put your flour and stuff in i'm gonna buy that because one of my subscribers is on my behind she like i done told you peach i done told you to get them containers from the dollar tree you was just in a dollar tree and you still ain't get the container so i was like okay I'm gonna come to the Dollar Tree today and I'm gonna get them, get them for sure. And what else I need? I'm trying to pep talk myself. We gotta get our four rolls of tissue. You know, that's the rule. I always get you some tissue when you come in here if they got it. Only if they got Scott. I don't need some more paper towels. That's about, right now I'm thinking I'm at a, like $10. We had $10. Um, what else we need? Cause we only wanna get what we need. Some bleach, if they got bleach. We are gonna get some bleach. And if they got some of them two liter jugs of water, I like those. We're going to get some of those. And um, that's it. All right, so let's go over this list again. Make sure we get it right. That's all we coming in here for. We're going we gonna to stick to the list now. We're going to get two rolls of paper towels. The mega ones that we just bought on the last video because I actually like those. We're going to get four things of tissue. We had six bucks. Okay, we're going to get two, just two of those little plastic containers with the lid so we can put our sugar and our flour in. And then for number, what it is, was that $6? We had $8. 
Okay, what else I needed? The glass cleaner, that's $9. And then what else I said? I don't know, but that's what we're gonna get. That's all we're gonna, we gonna get. We're not gonna spend more than $15 today at the Dollar Tree. Oh, I'm lying. I'm gonna get some more paper plates. I need paper plates. And I'm gonna get some paper cups because I just want some paper cups. And, um, well, I'm gonna get plastic cups, not paper. I'm gonna get plastic cups. And, um, that's it. We ain't gonna spend more than, okay, we're not gonna spend more than $20. That's it. Let's go. Dollar Tree. In the other city. This is one I came into last time. I ain't really had the stuff I want. It's off of Hillsboro Ave, right outside of Seminole Heights. And Walmart is across the street. Yeah, they got a Walmart across the street. Now, this is the Walmart in the hood. Let me tell you something. This is how you know when you're in the hood. Because that Walmart, it only what got I one noticed way. with Walmart, when they come into the hood, they only make it one way in, one way out. But when you go into the white neighborhoods, to the Walmart, you can go into Walmart six, seven different ways. You can go through the tire section, the garden section. This side though, that side though, the back though, even roof. You just go through every kind of way. But when you go to the Walmart in the hood, it's literally one way in, one way out. Helium, y'all won't get no balloons out of here today. To go to Dollar Tree down the street. Dang, they ain't got no buggies. They buggies all gone. So we know we ain't really finna do the most of here today. Look at the universe working it on out for me. They're working it on out. I like these jugs of water, but not this kind. Y'all like this kind of water? I like the other kind. The other kind of water. I still can't believe they got these prayer lights in here. Six for a dollar nine, child. They got, this the water I like, but I want the two, two liter kind. This is some good water. If you never drink this, you want to start drinking that. That's so good, but I want a two liter. All right, come on, let's focus. We're not gonna go down no unnecessary aisles. Stay focused. Pardon me. Focus, focus, focus. I'm literally trying my hardest not to deviate from the mission. Look, they restocked their shelves now. Child, they got the plates I like. Look, they got hefty plates in here. You get 20 for a dollar, but. <laughs> I ain't doing that. Who's gonna do that when you get $34? Huh? So, so hard is what I'm getting. The $34. And I want some plastic cups. I'm debating. Should I just do the paper cups? I'm gonna get this one. This red cup. So we're gonna do Okay, so we got that. Boom. That was two items down. What else we came here for? Some tissue. They got all the little Scott's tissue. Yes, I hit the jackpot today. She's winning today, yes, ma'am. I gotta go get a basket because I can't carry four of these. I wish I could get a buggy. People be grabbing buggies and they only got two things in their buggy. But you know, let people be them. Let me stop hating. They might end up with 20 things in their buggy by the end of this. So, we shall see. I really want a buggy. Guys, we got us a little shopping, shopping basket we can't really fit nothing in here so it's a good thing the universe trying to work it out for me work it on out work it on out work it on out i'm talking about baby they is going to be fully styled only they got alcohol and some bleach excuse me miss do you guys have alcohol yeah, really still no alcohol i want to be up here like they really know how to make hand sanitizer all these homemade hand sanitizer companies. Stop buying all the ding on All right, guys, we gonna get four of these spots. I don't care if you buy your, your tissue out of the Sam's Club. Smell fishy. I'm not buying my, I'm not buying my um, tissue out of Sam's Club. No, ma'am, we're gonna buy them from Dollar Tree. This is what I like to do. You do what you like to do. This is how I'ma do it. I'm buying it from the dollar store. I just prefer to do it that way. And now, there's my basket. It's filled. Oh, yeah, we're not going to be able to do the most in here today. So, listen, y'all. I have my um, basket. And just so you know, it's not me smelling like fish. I know y'all hear this lady keep talking about somebody oh, smelling no, like fish. It's like <laughs> the bathroom. The bathroom stinks raw. It's yeah. like somebody killed a shark in that mud. Because right? I don't want y'all to be on YouTube like, ooh, you smell like I fish. Uh-uh, uh no, -uh, nah, I don't smell like fish. It's not me. Okay, we just had to get that together. Um, we need some paper towels. 
We just need one. <laughs> so my sister's doing the most, baby. Hold on now. Hold on, shawty. So listen, they don't have the kind that I like. The kind we just tried, those new mega rolls. So we're just going to get one of this kind. It's a 140. And so I roll up on another Dollar Tree and get the mega kind. Now, what else did I come in here for? What did I come in I know for? I came in here for something else. I know I made the list in the car verbatim with y'all. But I cannot remember for the life of me what it was. What was it? What was it? What was it? Comment down below if you can remember what I came in here for. Because I can't. And my mask is too big, y'all. Too big. But I'm not buying another yeah, So I had to watch the video that I made in the car to remember what I came in here for. And now I, I found them. I came in here for these. These little containers right here. Which I used to have these a while ago. And then I gave them to my grandma in the house. Where all my cousins be saying, I want a bigger one in this. This one is small. They normally had the real big ones. Where are the big ones? Where are the big ones? What the big jars at? See? We'll get the big ones. All right, guys. So these are the containers that my subbies keep telling me. Not my subbies. This one subby in particular. Why didn't I write your name down? It started with a T. I cannot think of it. But she keeps telling me, get these jars from Dollar Tree to put your sugar and your flour in. So they have two different sizes for a dollar. I wanted to point that out to y'all and show y'all the difference. I'm going to go with the larger sizes just because I have larger quantities of sugar and flour. We're only going to get two because we're not trying to go broke. And the dollar store, I keep getting these people all my money. And another one of my subscribers told me to look for the mason jars to put my Zazon packets in so it will look better and I can move that big old box. Now, I don't see the name brand mason jars. I know I did buy one from another Dollar Tree location, but I'm not seeing them at this one, but I do see this. And it's just a dollar. It's not the name brand kind. They probably bought all the name brand ones, but... It'll work, I guess. This is the biggest size I Should see. Should I get well. this kind? Should I get this kind instead? This one is cute. I might get that kind instead. Which one would you get? This is a hard decision. I might just buy both of them. They only a dollar. Might as well. Then when I get home, I could decide which one I want. Yeah, one of my subbies shopping in the Dollar Tree gonna send you to the pole house. Yeah, it's only a dollar, but all them dollars add up. And I don't want to be poor. I don't been poor. I don't want to be poor no more. You know, I want to be rich. I want to be wealthy, you know? So, but I'm still not going to get one. I'm going to get both of them. Yeah, <laughs> on you, baby. I'm getting both because they're only a dollar. I mean, what's $2 going to hurt? What's $2 going to hurt? Ain't going to hurt nothing. Let's get I ain't got no buggy, so I'm really thugging it out in the streets like this. God gave you a chin to carry your extra, your extra blessings. You know how they say... You gotta let things go because you can't catch your blessings if your hands full. Well, actually, you can catch your blessings. You could catch them. Is that my cousin? That's, is that Quandaline? Uh -uh. Oh, you look like Quandaline. You fine, girl. Are you sure? I'm, I'm fine. positive. But listen, so you catch your blessings with your chin. Don't worry about it. Hands full. And I'm still catching my blessings with my chin. So, yeah, I really feel deeply in my spirit like I forgot something. I know we went over the list in the car. I just really feel like I forgot something, but I don't know what it is. Girl, but anyway, good. I didn't get nothing extra. I didn't go down no extra aisles. Look, I'm going through Dollar Tree rehab. Thank y'all. Y'all stay on me. Only the only thing extra I got is like two extra drawers, but they only a dollar. Two dollars ain't gonna hurt me. These cosmetic bags. These are so cute. Look at that. Everything I need. I'm gonna buy this. It's only a dollar. Ain't gonna hurt me. It's just a dollar. I don't get that. That's really pretty. I wonder what this one say. I don't wear makeup, but I mean, it's cute. Look at this. I have it all. We're going to get this too. That's it. That's it. I promise. Right, so I had got me some snacks off camera because I don't want y'all all in my business about me eating unhealthy. But I paid for my snacks with my food stamp card and I didn't think it was going to show. But anyway, it's my real total without the food stamps for just the non-food items. Is fourteen eleven, fourteen dollars and eleven. Girl, get a round of applause, please. I did not go crazy today in the Dollar Tree. I think I should get an award of. Some All right, y'all got my stuff, and I know because y'all nosy. Y'all is real nosy. Some of y'all like too nosy, but it's okay because I'm nosy too, so I get it. I know you're gonna be up in my business, like, well, Peaches, what did you buy for two dollars? What did you get for two dollars, Peach? 
I got some chocolate. <laughs> now, if you like this video, you know what to do. You know what to do. Girl, go ahead and hit a like you like. Hey, hit a like you like. Hit a like you like. Bye, your girl. Thanks for watching. Bye.